there guys, Coast Shell here, Doncaster born but built for spectacular theme park news and welcome to a Halloween update where today we're going to be talking about the biggest bombshell of all bombshells, SeaWorld Orlando will be opening up Hallow Scream for the first time in its history, the first Hallow Scream event outside of the two Bush Gardens parks, uh, we're expecting other SeaWorld parks to probably follow either this year or in future years, but Orlando is officially the first. With Hallow Scream 2021, we've got all the details via an article from Attractions Magazine, uh, so make sure you go and look at that article yourself in the description down below. But before we get started with all the details, please like the video if you loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We're getting closer and closer to 3,000 subscribers. Uh, we're almost to the halfway point now, we're, 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 not, we're, not, we're only a couple of hundred off, so please, 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 let's get there as soon as possible. We want to try and hit 4,000 subscribers at least, at least 4K by the end of the year, along with a million views, and we're sort of near the halfway point towards 700,000 views views in total so please we're getting closer and closer also guys check the description down below where you can find the attractions magazine article and also google forms link where you can submit your own video ideas and also the social media links and for now guys let's have a look at see what orlando hello screen 2021 the first details so for the first time ever Hallow Scream is coming to SeaWorld Orlando to bring new frights to Central Florida this Halloween season. Running on select dates from September 10th to October 31st, Hallow Scream will bring scare zones, haunted houses, nighttime coaster rides and a live show to SeaWorld Orlando to celebrate the season. All while guests try and resist the haunting song of the one who has emerged from the lake. So there's a bit of a, a sirens kind of theme. Uh, but in terms of the specifics, there are no specifics on the number of scare zones or horses haunted houses has been shared just yet though based on today's surprise media event the event's theme will have much to do with the sirens of the sea and their haunting song there will also be a high energy musical dance show and djs performing in party zones how the scream orlando 2021 will be a separately ticketed event offering alongside seaworld halloween spectacular the scares will begin at 7 p.m and run until either 1 a.m or 2 a.m depending on the event night there'll also be a double ticket offering admission to both how scream events at seaworld orlando and bush gardens tampa bay which we did speak about in a previous video today single tickets will start at nearly 30 dollars and past member discounted tickets start at nearly $25. The two ticket park, uh, the two park ticket for Bush Gardens Tampa and Seaworld Orlando is nearly $80. Of course, you can stay tuned to the Hello Scream Orlando website, which I have linked in the description down below, along with this article site. I'm sure this is going to be absolutely spectacular. <laughs> So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages. That is looking at the brand new Hello Scream Orlando for 2021. I can generally say I'm so looking forward to this. Now, obviously the big thing to note here is the general theme of the event, the sirens, the haunting song of the lake. And it's got a bit of a haunting song vibe. Now, I don't know if this is going to be like uh, just different themed haunted houses or what we do in the UK with York Mace Howler Scream and I think a couple of other events as well is they have a general theme for the whole event and then the mazes are spin-offs of the event story. So you look at Howler Scream for example and American viewers who were wondering, what's York Maze Howler Scream? Well, we've got an attraction here in the UK, a place called York. It's called York Maze. So it's your traditional cornfield maze. There's different like activities for the families and stuff like that around. But they have a Halloween event called Hallow Scream. And they have a few mazes. And basically, it's uh, themed around different spin-off stories of the main event story. So the story of the main event is Charles William Tawney and his traveling circus. And the different story, it's like, for example, one maze is themed around um, Charles William Tawney's as killer and the fact he had a slaughterhouse. One maze is themed around like the, the perfection of humanity and you know the people sort of from the story trying to perfect humans and trying to make them half human, half machine. It's called the singularity. Uh, you've got another maze which is themed around like a post Trump apocalypse and one of the people from the story traveling uh, forward in time. You've got another maze themed to like the uh, like the uh, a bit, uh, one, like the barn and it's like a barn again, so it's like uh, an apocalypse type thing there with the 3D effect on. So you've got different spin offs of the event story. 
boring now. I don't know if SeaWorld Orlando's Hello Scream is going to follow that same principle. However, I think it would be very interesting to see if they do because uh, I'd be very excited to see that. And of course, us in the UK, we can relate to that kind of uh, approach to a Halloween event, uh, along with the other one, which is just having different maze themes and houses themes. So. It, that question is still one of the big ones to be unanswered as of yet, but I'm really looking forward to this. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coast Chow, Keatley on the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a spectacular SeaWorld day.